My name is Miranda Burnett, and I'm the uh, founder and creative director at Flash Tattoos. And my name is Kirsten Stoddard, and I do PR, marketing, and all that fun stuff for Flash Tattoos. Flash Tattoos are metallic temporary tattoos that are made to look like jewelry. And um, I started the business three years ago when um, I was busy working on the product development team at a local furniture wholesaler here in Austin. And my job was always to look for new trends and ideas and new fashions, new resources, and kind of translate that into furniture. Um, and I came across this, this image of these women in Dubai wearing um, 24 karat gold painted designs. And I love the idea, but they were just kind of very generic with kind of cats and hearts and such. And so um, I was just thinking, what if we, um, I wanted to take that idea, that concept, because it was so beautiful, and just make it more fashionable, more fun, and also more affordable for, for everybody to wear. Yeah, it's, it's pretty exciting, you know, coming on. I started at Flash Tattoos early in the business, and it's pretty humbling to think that right now I'm sitting next to a woman. <laughs> She's going to hate me for saying this, Kirsten. but, I mean, she started an international trend that is, you know, got its origins right here in Austin, and, you know, it went to Hawaii and L.A., and it's all the way in, you know, Dubai <laughs> and Asia and Europe. I mean, it's, it's everywhere. So it's been a really exciting phenomenon to watch take hold across the globe. On the panel today, I noticed we had a lot of pl planners, people who really planned out their business. And um, I'm not saying that you shouldn't do that, um, but I feel that sometimes people can get paralyzed in the whole planning process. And so my advice is really just to get started figure out what are your essential elements to start a business. You know, you need a product, you need a website, you need some way to market it, um, and just get started. And then um, things, and then, you know, things will work out and you gotta let your business also evolve from there. For example, um, when I started the business, my idea was that these would be used here in Austin to go out downtown to clubs and festivals and such. And what ended up happening was that our customers took the product and they're like, we're going to wear it to the beach and we're going to wear it to um, summer music festivals. And so it, 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 our customers are really the people who kind of took the product and created what they wanted to use it for. And so um, I, there's no way that I could have planned for that. You know, it just kind of evolved and happened on its own. So I think um, get started and also remain flexible in your business. Let it evolve with you. You know, Flash Tattoos, we're a small team, we're lean and mean, mm -hmm. um, but I think, you know, at the end of the day, Miranda's one person, and you really need to surround yourself with people who you have faith in and can take her ideas when she's getting pulled in all sorts of different directions and be able to execute them. And I, I wouldn't say it mm -hmm. takes an army, I mean, just looking at our team, mm -hmm. you know, we. We do a lot with, with a, a small team of resources. So mm -hmm. I think just surrounding yourself with people, right people that are dedicated and passionate about the brand, about the business. Um, and it doesn't have to be, you know, employees, but it can be contract workers or mentor. Um, you know, just people that, that are excited about what you're doing and want to be a part of it. I'm really honored to be here at the Small Business Festival. I think that uh, it's great that Austin has something like this. Um, also very honored that, to see that I was one of two women on the panel there. Um, just really happy that to be included in, in something like this. I'm glad that the Austin Business Festival made sure that we were represented on stage. And I think it's a great resource for other, other small businesses and entrepreneurs to get some, get some advice and, and some feedback on running their own business. I mean, they've been there. They're doing it. They know, mm -hmm. they know the daily grind and what it takes to, to go from the germ of an idea to actually developing a product and then getting it out there in the market. So, I think just surrounding ourselves, especially in our hometown where we're based, you know, it's it's really amazing to meet all these fellow business owners and entrepreneurs. And you know, you give inspiration, you get inspiration, and there's a lot of wisdom to be learned here.